You know, I met Esther about 45 years ago, probably at an, either an ADHA meeting in Chattanooga, Tennessee, or it had to be a, a Tennessee a Delijean meeting. I was doing a table clinic, and I think um, she was either a guest at this meeting 45 years ago. And then to my surprise, after marrying and graduating from Harry Medical College at that time, my husband was doing his internship in Boston at Boston City Hospital. And of course, off to Boston I went. And my director, who knew Dean Louise Hoard at Forsyth Delon Jean School and Esther, sort of made a phone call and said that she had one of her students, and she considered me one of her best students, moving to Boston. And that's how it all began. And from that time on, Esther followed my career. She followed my professional dental hygiene career. I was hired as a clinical instructor at Foresight. Um, what an opportunity. And of course, I didn't know her personally, even at that point, but of her had met her. And then, this is something interesting. We were going to a CE course with all the faculty, and I was riding with Jen Selwitz at that time. And uh, she said, wait, there's one more person who's gonna ride with us today. We were going to Quinn Sigelman, uh, Dill Hygiene School, Junior College, out in Framingham, Mass. And who but Esther Wilkins got in my car. I was driving, but they were all riding with me. What a surprise. And what a start of my life of knowing such a wonderful person, such a mentor to the world of dental hygiene, to all educators. And believe it or not, I had, I felt like I had the expert at, at my hands for the rest of my life. And no matter what school I taught at, no matter what I needed to know, if there was something, information I needed, if I was reading one of her chapters and wanted something clarified, long before there was email, of course, I just picked up the phone and I called her. And probably before calling her, I probably wrote her. And I always got a response, like anybody else, like any other dental hygiene educator who reached out to Esther. She always reached back. Uh, that was something personal about her. So for the rest of my years, up until I retired full time as a dental hygiene educator, and of course I'm still an adjunct, and that was one of her wishes too. She says we should never retire, which she didn't. She did not retire. She continued on with her textbook. She continued reading her last email until she could. Esther actually emailed me up until the month that we lost her. I was coming to New Hampshire to see her, and I received the email from her. So what an honor to have gotten to know her. And we, the world has lost a very famous person in the dental hygiene refer profession. And I'm sure that we all will, she will, her name will live on forever. And all dental hygiene students mine, and all dental hygiene educators mine, we, we have lost a great person.